Welcome to Fayetteville, Arkansas, in a place where legends have long stood for excellence. Names like Broyles, Holtz, McFadden, Jones, and Johnson. And when they call the Hogs, it is a rite of passage. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the UCF Knights taking on a team from the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Razorbacks will kick it away to start us off. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the UCF Knights offense is on the field for the first time today. And this guy is a big-time star. Just an electricity follows him onto the field. He's a workhorse, too, Reese. This is a definition of a bell cow running back. He can carry the load for his offense and put his football team on his back. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. The Knights want to move quickly. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Catch in the middle, it's Townsend. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Yeah, and what a nice job seeing it, reacting, and throwing. When you run these RPOs, you want to read the defense really quickly. Is he playing run? Okay, boom, I'm going to throw this slant right behind him. Nice job by the QB. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. He'll keep it himself. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. But how about the linebacker swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? The Knights will line up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. So Arkansas's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Try and play action. He'll take a deep shot here. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. And the offense clearly saying, we want to take those deep shots. We want to be aggressive. And I, and I think that's a good strategy because it makes the defense really honor what you're going to do. And just missed a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if this offense finds a way to come back to some of those deep things. Quick touch pass to the receiver. 
They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. And that's a gut punch, especially if you're the offensive coordinator, because that was sort of a foreign look, the pre-snap motion, a timing play, trying to get the receiver the football quickly. You're expecting to outflank the defense, but give the defense a ton of credit. They made the bigger play, and now they've set you up in a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. The Knights come to the line in the hurry up. To the ground with the back. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, giving one. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. They'll run it from the gun. Hard running there. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. What an unbelievable effort that time by the running back. Great vision and showing off his speed. And now with that big gain, he puts his head coach in a position where he's going to have to make a decision here what he wants to do on fourth and short. The Knights line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Sategna. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He's got his man. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? And the short completion brings up second down. Scanning the field, it's green. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. That's reeled in. It's a Tegna. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. Remember some of the years when the Hogs spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy at quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You, you got a running back in there. You know you're not going to throw it very much. But when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Thrust that arm out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Wow, what an impressive looking run. When you think back to some of the greatest rushing offenses in the SEC in recent years, remember that offense that had Darren McFadden and Felix Jones both in the backfield, sometimes taking wildcat snaps? Nobody could stop them. This dude, I think, could have broken his way into that rotation with his ability. This guy's sick. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. The handoff as they run the counter play here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's a bad sign on offense when you have that many people running free at your running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. I love his effort making multiple guys miss, but still, it's a negative play. Now facing a third and long. It's a draw. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And he's brought down after a nice game. 
All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run game coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on them. Touchdown, Razorbacks! A great catch and run for six. What did I start for this offense? The throw game, getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in the rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. Just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The Knights in the hurry up. the ground it's Harvey picks up the first down still moving great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving and they've got it at the 45 and that's all you want right you want that first down uh, understand the situation understand I got to get north and south get a first down get a new set of downs the offense getting set for a first down from the 45 Leaves it with the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Linebacker shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. And they've swapped ends of the field and we'll get it going in the second. They'll try to pop the draw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. What a great play by the linebacker. Did you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. They'll run play action. They're trying to get to it. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, pass incomplete. The Knights send out the punt unit. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Offense, quick tempo.
quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Got enough for the first. And they get him out of bounds, but not before a sizable pickup on that one. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the three-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. Speeding down the left side. Touchdown, UCF! The defense takes matters into their own hands. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender, seeing that ball in the end zone. Your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. PAT unit on the field. Bangs it through for an extra point. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's James. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. He's going for a big play downfield. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Gives it to the back on the draw. And they tried it again and got the same result. They'll get nothing and like it. Now they're looking at a third down. And they try to sneak the draw play in there and try to show pass right away, get it to the running back defense. Not fooled in the slightest. Nice job getting upfield, getting to the running back, getting him on the ground. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man on the right. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. And off from the shotgun. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. And how about that? You don't see those... You know, touch passes go for negative yards very often. Usually this is a short flip that counts as a completion that goes a long way, but the defense aggressive. Saw it, pulled the trigger, came outside, made sure he didn't get outside and get to that edge. Nice job by the defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. 
The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On the run, it's Green. Gets open down the middle. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. The Razorbacks are flying down the field. They believe they can run right here. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to play had push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Arkansas! Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? The give on the inside. Pushed his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20. A pickup of five. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. The Knights want to crank the tempo. Looking for room, it's Harvey. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Setting up for a first and 10 from the 26. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. They'll try the run. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Snagged in the middle, it's Hudson. And perhaps a touchdown-saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. 
Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate play. Makes the catch. It's Townsend. They stop him at the 22, 15-yard pickup on the play in a first down just outside the red zone. The Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air, it's Jefferson. Got his man quickly. Well, it's a nice job by the defender there, closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal game. The Knights looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. On second down, he'll let it flop. He makes the connection. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They pick up the first down on the drag route. And good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Complete. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. But we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a lead. Wants to fire on second down. And he's got it! Touchdown, Knights! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Lining up to add another. And it's perfect. An 84-yard drive there. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making, because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with the young fellow on the sidelines. Be like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, you've been calling an intriguing one so far in Fayetteville. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, let's hear another hog call and send it back to the guys in Razorback Stadium. The Knights will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. 
You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Out of the gun to give to the back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. The inside handoff. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. They'll leave it with the lone back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And now on third down after that last run. They'll try to power their way ahead. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. They had a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard and picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. And the Razorbacks have this offense rolling. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Caught near the sideline, it's Sategna. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. And here comes play number six of the drive. Dropping back, it's green. They've got the screen set up. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. No screen plays. You really want to sell it, get it to your running back, and get him to the second level. Get him running full head of steam on a safety, on a linebacker. He almost got going but just got tackled before he could really do any damage. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. You got to love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense ball has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Running back searching for a hole. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. Running with power. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there. They're pinning their ears back. Get to the QB. Get the sack. The Knights will punt it away on fourth down. 
three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. give to the running back and the defense snows him under after a very short game they line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one trying to move the sticks on third down through the air got his man downfield just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. This proficiency in the passing game can take you back to yesteryear. One of the great quarterbacks in Arkansas history, and Joe Ferguson. Yeah, just slinging the pill. Just being able to being able to provide balance, being able to attack down the field, get people out of the box, and and not be predictable. That's a really good job by this quarterback. Dropping back, it's Green. Makes a connection. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. And that's what we players call a seven route. That receiver ran it beautifully. They use those back-to-back -back explosives to set him up first and goal. Looking to throw. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. It's hard for a defense to have to cover so much space. When the offense goes empty, you get receivers and tight ends and running backs lined up out wide. You've got to expand, and it's harder to cover on the back end. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. Now on the counter. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have <laughs> fun with that. The Knights want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They thought maybe they could get the defense flowing the wrong way on the counter, but they were not fooled. Get him flowing one way and then maybe hit that outside on the other side, right? But they didn't even let it get outside. They kept it right in the middle of the field. Did a great job seeing it, going and getting it, being aggressive. you got to find a different way, maybe, to attack these guys, to use their speed against them. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. The Knights will call on their punt team. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. 
Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. The incompletion on first down. Now they face a second and 10 from the 31. Back to pass, it's green. This time on target. At the 40, there he goes. He is feeling it, a huge play. Almost took it to the house, but they got him at the 24. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. It's one thing to get that huge play. Now you got to cash it in with six. First and ten from the 24. Use the play fake. Now to throw. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. The give to the tailback. And as they get him to the ground, Fox running looks as if time will expire here in the third. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On second down, looking to throw. Quarterback adapting. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Trying to get to him. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. After that incompletion on third and short, it's going to be an interesting decision for the head coach because I know he believes in his guys to go get it here on fourth down and pad the lead. But if you kick a field goal, you make it a two-possession game here in the second half, and I think that's the right decision. He got it. There is a flag on the play, and if this is on the defense, guys... Would you take the points off the board here? Can't make contact with the kicker like that. A costly special teams penalty. You've got to know your path in front of the kicker. Offense comes back on the field. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Arkansas! Now you know why you do all of those squats, all of those deadlifts, extra time in the weight room. No doubt. Get that lower body strength so you can shed people off you. What a great job smelling the end zone and getting in. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff unit about to go to work. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Bulldozes him. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Grab behind the line. It's Hudson. 
And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up at this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. The Knights moving quickly to the line. They'll leave it with him. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative. But whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. Gets it out fast. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. From the gun, running back on the move. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Caught behind the line. It's Hudson. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. The Knights racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. On first down, here comes this offense. And you had to. I mean, the offense had to be aggressive. You're down multiple scores. You needed to make something happen right now. You had to be aggressive. I think you had to go for it on that fourth down. Now, obviously, the game's looking like it might get out of hand. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead. They've got it late. And they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up this scoreboard. Big play offense, and it has them threatening now. First and 10 from the 25. Yeah, 
Use the play fake. Now to throw. Gets it out quickly. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast, and they force a negative play. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. Right down the boulevard. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. That lead just keeps getting fatter and this kickoff team doing a little running. Here he comes from inside his own five. Delivers the contact. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Trying to find his man on first down. Got a man, it's Pittman. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline and you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to pass. It's Jefferson. A strike downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. They'll throw it on first down. That's caught. It's Harvey. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. And be smart. You've got to attack the sidelines. You've got to throw first down. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. They want to just keep throwing it. Working that left side now. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Hauls it in. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Wants to go up top. Coming after him. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. 
defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Looking for a man. It's Jefferson. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, UCF! And a nice touchdown. Continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense. Continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. And this one is just about in the books. The defense can stop the clock one more time as the offense takes a knee. 